All right, so here's how to uh, start up the uh, H60 pack uh, Blackhawk that we have as part of our uh, 91st mod pack. Um, right now I'm in the training server, so just on in multiplayer here. Um, what we're gonna do is just first hop in the pilot seat. There's actually two ways to do this. Um, the first way is a uh, the manual start method, which is what I'm gonna go through. I'm also gonna talk about how to uh, turn on the FLIR uh, laser designator pod, um, all from the pilot seat, so you can basically solo this aircraft. Um, this should be useful for our sword pilots. So start up the aircraft. Uh, first, we're gonna turn the battery on. So it's these switches up here. Um, you'll want to basically be in free look mode to do all of this. The two batteries on, you'll notice that battery status is on there. And your uh, MFDs will turn on as well. Once that's on, you can go down to your center console here and hit checklist and go to startup. And then that'll make it easy. It'll give you numbers on what to uh, flip, essentially. So we'll get the generators on. So basically, it's going one, two, three, four, et cetera. Fuel pump, the APU. Get the generator and the instrumentation and the last thing should be turn the engine on so hear everything running go next page of the so checklist here so we'll hit F that engine startup and same thing you're just following what's up here on the HUD so I already turned the ignition on so that would be seven in that case but then next up would be eight then at nine, let's get the fuel systems on. You kind of have to look, these are t over, uh, kind of superimposed on each other. You have to look for that one first. Then hit F, start the two turbines for the engine. And then you're gonna, these are the engine power, or basically throttle for each engine. So you set it to idle and then we'll take it over to full, max power. You wanna wait for the engine to spool up. Basically, you'll just to get an auditory feedback. But you can also look here as well. So I'm seeing it looks like, yep, yeah, so our Q, that's our torque values, and then our MP1, MP2, these values are at 100, so we're at max speed. So that way we can turn the APU off. The APU is an auxiliary power unit that allows basically everything else to start up. So now we are running, but you notice the HUD isn't on. Just looking around, there is no like, um, basically helmet HUD. So I turned that on, which I know I didn't mention that, but we'll, I'll go through that real quick. Down here in the center console again, back, go back to the main menu, where you see this. Then you wanna go to the uh, mission systems section, HUD. Uh, oh, oops. Uh, there we go, I must have been clear. Then uh, I, we have it set to metric by default, so you want to hit metric on, and then you can adjust your uh, um, your dimmer settings, brightness, starkness, if you're at like night time or whatever, you can do that here. But as you can see, as I look around now, um, I've got an indicator of airspeed is there in the left box on the, le on the left side there, right side MSL, that's our altitude. Q1 and Q2, those are our engine torque values. Um, and then if I hit F, it'll show you on the bottom there, bottom left, it'll cycle your uh, weapons. <clears throat> oh, and at the very top there, you have a compass heading. So right now, just the vehicle, not my head, is pointed at uh, bearing 0.45. And with our UI, you can see on the bottom there, with the cardinal indicators, the north is that circle. As I turn my head, it, it, that shows where my head is looking. So combine that with the uh, HUD indicator, and it'll give you a really good idea of just heading values and, you know, obviously cardinal directions. All right, so next thing is to prep the um, <clears throat> the FLIR pod. So you'll want to, again, for in free look mode here, so you actually have to interact with these MFDs. Um, in order to access the uh, FLIR section, you're going to want to go to the TAC menu. So here on the bottom, see a bunch of these options here, we're going to hit TAC. <clears throat> and then this option will change here on the bottom left, you'll hit TAC and then you'll hit FLIR. <clears throat> so you'll need to hit deploy FLIR. 
now this will basically warm up the clear camera and then it will also right now is currently rotated so it's facing inward it's in stowed mode this will rotate the uh, FLIR pod so it faces outward and is basically ready for operational use. And that takes about 25 seconds to do that. And there it is. You yeah, see it on the screen. <clears throat> um, let me just make it so I'm not in free look anymore and then I will control right click. That will enter the camera mode. This will allow you to move the camera without moving the uh, helicopter. As you can see, I'm not, you know, yawing left and right. <clears throat> um, plus and minus, adjust the zoom. If you hit B, that will turn on um, advanced FLIR, cycle between white hot and black hot. Um, if you hit N, that will cycle just the night vision and then basically the standard FLIR model and uh, back to daytime. Uh, Control-T will walk the uh, uh, FLIR to the ground um, or whatever vehicle target you're looking at. In this case, we're not looking at anything. So. Right. Um, and then obviously, to turn the laser marker on, you first want to, as you can see here in the HUD, it says bottom left there, laser marker. Make sure you're in that mode first before going in. And then if you left click, it'll say laser range finder to the left there. It'll say it's armed and that basically be able to self laser designate essentially, which is very useful. The final thing we're going to do um, also, if you get out of the helicopter, the engine remains running, which is very useful, especially if you're uh, landing at like a FARP or something and need to uh, quick, you know, get out of the helicopter to interact, medevac, whatever, or also get out and interact and uh, possibly rearm your pilot and stuff like that. Um, but the next thing I want to show you is the script option to basically kind of bypass all the manual startups for the helicopter. So what we're going to do, um, as you can see on the scroll wheel here, you can see automatic engine startup. We hit that, everything will move in sequence. You can actually see all the switches move in time. idling around 20 so each side here and then as you can see if, as I mentioned in the HUD see the Q1 and Q2 there can be easier to see there that will dynamically change as you throttle or increase your collective up and down as well as your uh, pitch of the uh, main rotor so that basically tells you how much torque that rotor is going under and you'll get a warning if you're over torque Our torque value is really shut up. We're at 134 right now. We see a message there to reduce our torque. Leveling out, we'll do that pretty quickly. Uh, basically, once that Q1, Q2, once those Q1, Q2 values drop below 100, that will essentially get rid of that torque indicator. See that? Now we go drop there below 100. All right. This has been a quick guide on how to uh, start up the. Uh, H60 series, the uh, modded uh, Blackhawks, as well as to set the HUD and to uh, set up the uh, FLIR uh, laser designating pod.